All right, I'm now going to demonstrate, do a little demonstration here on how to add some details to the floor and the walls in my room. And I got my room here, I just don't have my, my last side. So I still have the tape on my outside, but when I take it off, it should be totally glued together. But I'm gonna go just go ahead and leave it on for the time being. So I've just got some blank paper here. And again, if you find yourself and need a blank paper, let me know. I brought a whole bunch uh, from school so I could have people pick that up or I could even drop that off if need be. So start out just by, I'm gonna, I'm gonna work on the wall here, the back wall. And so I'm going to put this in the corner, kind of measure it. I'm actually gonna sort of crease it a little bit. Put a mark, Let's crease this one, put a mark and sort of find where the corner is like so, and then I'll cut it out. And you may want to draw lines with a ruler or a straight edge to make sure that those are straight. Mine look pretty good if you're not quite so certain about yourself eyeballing. And I can just kind of test it and it looks like it fits pretty well. So that's gonna be my back one. So I might, for example, maybe do a drawing of like a window. Mine's a little off, whoops. And maybe I'll put a little ledge in there. Okay, I might maybe I'll put like a little, maybe there'll be like some pens or some pencils on the ledge here. Not sure what that is. Maybe I have something else that I can draw on there, you know, and then I can bring some other details. I can make little brackets on either side. And then I could make a little curtain rod. And then I could put in some drapes here on either side. Maybe those are pulled back. Okay, maybe I could add a few more things. Maybe in here, I'm gonna have like a poster on my wall. Put little pins in it. Okay, so I kind of have all kinds of things in terms of the details. And again, I wanna make sure that I add the color with markers or color pencils before I do any attaching, but I can go ahead and I can attach these things right away. So I may have, you know, my back wall here, kind of pretty much done. But again, do that for every wall that you have. Um, and I recommend it doing it for all the walls because you're probably not necessarily gonna to wanna to keep the cardboard color. And again, it's going to be a little bit diff more difficult, especially when I go in with a color pencil. It's not going to cover very well. And if I go like this, because of the corrugation of the cardboard, it's going to make these lines right here. Marker is not going to do that as much and it'll cover a little bit better. But if I've got lighter colors, like I want some yellow, for example, and I try to go in, it's not going to show up too much in there. Okay, it's pretty light. But of course, if I use my white paper, It's gonna show up just fine. And then I can glue it in. So make sure you get all these done first, then glue them in. And remember, don't glue any furniture in until absolutely last.